folks, Mark Griffin or Jen here with a detailed look today at the Golden Greek Telescopic Storm available from cloudsofvapor.com. Um, this is my most used device. Um, it is, however, my most used device with its uninterrupted feed system, which we'll take a detailed look at next week. Um, this week we're just going to take a look at using this as a tube mod. Let's go ahead and take a detailed look. First, let's take a nice close look up at the GG in its entirety. Um, this is actually dirty. Um, I haven't polished it for three or four weeks, and I know everyone always complains about that. You can pretty much see the smudges there over the GG, which is exactly where you saw a minute ago. I, I usually rest my fingers, and on the back there and on the top. Now I'm going to go ahead and polish it, which will take a couple minutes, and then come back. And here is my nicely shiny, which took less than four or five minutes, by the way, GGTS. Let's go ahead and start putting it together. This is the bottom tube, um, which holds the switch. We're going to go ahead and grab the switch and put that in. You need to screw this in fairly tightly so that you are able afterwards to move that little knurled locking nut for the button independently, so that when you move that, the entire screw doesn't come loose again. Now the bottom cap. Um, which you can see in the close-up has uh, vent holes along the sides there and on the inside top and then it also has the spring that will collapse if there is a battery issue. Now let's go ahead and grab the inner tube or the telescoping bit. Um, it has more uh, threads on the bottom side which is where most of your adjusting goes on so that one goes into the bottom tube. And then we can grab the top or end cap and put that on the, screw that one all the way tightly using all the threads that are on the top of the inner tube there. And that's pretty much it assembled. I'm going to grab an AWIMR18650 here and pop that in. Now we're all ready for the atomizer connector and the collection cup. The atomizer connector and the collector cup have uh, several parts and functions. The first is the pin here, which you can see goes down to uh, maintain a connection between the battery and the atomizer. The very act of screwing an atomizer onto the top there pushes the pin down so that it makes a better connection with your battery. And then we're going to go ahead and screw a Cisco LR 1.5 on there. You can see very closely that there are little holes at the bottom of the post. Um, the collector tank will actually hold the liquid and then you can suck it back up there through the center pin on the atomizer and there's a small o there's an o-ring on the bottom so that when you screw the collector tank down there's no leakage out that bottom. You need to screw that down so that the o-ring pretty much disappears. And then there are on the top a, a knurled knob that goes back and forth and what that is doing is exposing and closing the air holes that allow you to adjust the draw. Um, so basically what you have is a super duper drip shield draw adjuster um, along with your atomizer. And the final section once it's all together is the operation of the locking switch itself. Um, you can see here it's firing. If I move that knob to the top it stops the switch from firing which is a safety feature. Let's add our drip tip and we are ready to go. The telescopic storm lets you choose many different battery configurations, much like the Empire and the Megalodon. Here's a 14, uh, 18, 490, I'm sorry. And you basically have to screw it down so that inner tube is completely invisible. It's totally inside the mod. Um, makes it much smaller, hand size. Uh, about the size of, you know, here it is compared to an Empire with an 18650 still in it. So you can see it's a little shorter than it was before. And a little easier to hide in your hand. The next mode is using a single 123A. I don't actually do this very often. I'm more likely to use an 18350, uh, same height, different width. To make this work, you have to take the end cap completely off and just uh, screw the atomizer connector and the um, collector tank onto that inner tube itself. And you have to pull it out a little bit. Pull it out and put it on. And this is the GGTS in mini mode. Um, which you can see next to a 18650 Empire is again about that size with the you know the drip shields also included in that. Next mode it also does support six volts 
We're going to put two RCR 123As in here. Have to extend it out, to adjust the tube out a little bit. And you'll see that the final result in this mode is about the same size it would be if you had a single 18650 in there for 3.7 volts. And there she is in 6 volt mode, all set and ready to go. And of course, just as I had this video finished, my GGTS stainless steel version came in from Bruce at Clouds of Vapor. It is nice and shiny. The logo is deep and dark, and I mine is number 30. And it has a very steampunky brass end caps on either side. A nice darker etched logo. And the collector tank and end are just a little different. Um, it doesn't have the brass inner tube that's still stainless steel and silverish looking like the rest of it. Um, the collector tank top is a little different. I can't tell yet, but I don't think you can take the collector tank off like you could before. Um, that seems to be sealed, but I'll take a look at that again. Again, it just came this afternoon, so this is first impressions. That brass top cap uh, unscrews now. And inside you can see the atomizer connector and the air holes. And it does come with extra adapters, I would assume, for 901 or 801. And the brass cap itself has a little O-ring on the outside edge and then on the inside so it makes a good seal with the part of the atomizer that sticks up. So again, that acts like a nice uh, drip cup, drip catch. and flow control through the ring again and the air holes. All in all, it's uh, nice and shiny. So that's a detailed look at the Golden Greek Telescopic Storm, or GGTS. Um, it will, as it comes, take a 510 or a 901 atomizer. Um, you can get a separate uh, collector tank and top connection, which needs to be a little wider for that 801. Um, Bruce has them at Clouds of Vapor for around $200 with, a, uh, with his discount. To be honest, if it weren't for that uninterrupted feed system, while it is a beautiful mod, I'd really have to recommend that if you don't have the money to spare, that you might probably be just as well served with an Empire or a Megalodon that also has the same telescopic function, can take the same atomizer, and you can put a drip shield on it. If you like the Rolls-Royce, um, if you like Shiny, if you have the money to spend, it's a good, solid, beautiful mechanical mod. Um, that being said, what makes this my everyday device is that uninterrupted feed system. Um, and we're going to take a look at that next week and why that goes with me everywhere. Back to me.